Hey guys, YouTube Boy One Hundred here. Okay, yeah, now I've seen the full show, so yeah, now I'm gonna give you guys a review of New Year's Revolution two thousand six, continuing Bad Wrestling Pay Per View Month. Yeah, you may have seen it, you may have not. Just about an hour ago, I just made a small video about a minute and fifteen seconds, showing how I felt about May Young stripping during the. Ron Penny's Gauntlet match. Yeah, it was terrible. Now I'm just going to review the whole show now. Yeah, uh, not good. Not a good show. Probably one of WWE's worst pay reviews of 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this will probably be the best show that I reviewed this month. But, yeah, this is still not very good at all. So, yeah, let me just get right into this thing. Show kicked off with the Intercontinental Championship match. Ric Flair defending against Edge. Believe it or not, this was match of the night. Night, right here. Yeah. This was okay, I guess. Uh, it wasn't very... wasn't, like, too great or anything, but for what it was, it was okay. It was just kind of back and forth stuff. Yeah, if they... St they're battling on the outside of the ring. Edge suplexed Ric Flair onto the floor. Ric Flair was going after Lita a couple of times. At one point, Lita was on the apron, and Ric Flair was starting to come to her. And then Edge was running at Ric Flair, and Ric Flair just threw Edge over the top rope. But Edge didn't even hit Lita at all. He just fell right over her. Yeah. And then Edge... Will, no, not Edge, sorry. Ric Flair was on the top turnbuckle, and... Edge was coming to him, and Ric Flair gave him a thumb to the eye. And then Lita got back up on the apron, and Ric Flair gave Lita a thumb to the eye. And then at the end of this match, Ric Flair got a figure four on Lita, and Edge nailed Ric Flair with the Money in the Bank briefcase, and Edge got disqualified, and Ric Flair won. And after the match, Edge just continued to assault Ric Flair some more. Oh yeah, it was an alright match. I'd give it a two and three quarter. And then we got the women's championship match, Trish Stratus versus Mickey James. Uh, this was another one that I guess was okay. Yeah, I mean, it was a much better crowd for this match than there was for their WrestleMania 22 match, where the crowd was just messing the match up completely. Yeah. This was an alright match, like I said. Some, a couple of nice spots, like Mickey James... Was able to counter the stratosphere at one point. Yeah. But it was real sloppy at one point. Trish tried to pin Mickey James with her foot on the rope and it was barely on and it just looked real sloppy. Yeah. And yeah, then Trish did connect with the stratosphere. Mickey James then got the stratisfaction on Trish, but Trish survived it. And Trish tried to do the stratisfaction on Mickey James, but Mickey James countered it. And then Mickey James tried the Mick kick, she missed, and then Trish Stratus got the the chick kick on Mickey James for the win, and Trish Stratus won. So yeah, that was okay. I give it a uh, two and a quarter. And then after this, we got Gregory Helms versus Jerry the King Lawler. This was pretty boring, and this wasn't too good at all. <clears throat> Most. For a majority of this match, basically, Gregory Helms was schooling the match, and he was pretty much dominating. And at one point, he got on the commentator. He put on a headset and was giving some commentary, like saying he was going to take over for the night once he beat Jerry Lawler or whatever. At one point, Gregory Helms was on the top turn buckle, trying to go for a dive, and then Jerry Lawler got his foot up, but, yeah, Gregory Helms just caught it right in midair. Yeah, and then basically all you have to know at the end is Jerry the King Lawler won. And after, I think it was a pile driver, or something. No, it wasn't a pile driver, it was something else. But, yeah, Jerry Lawler won, that's all you need to know. Yeah, not a very good match. I give it a star and a half. And then, after this, we got Triple H versus Big Show. Uh, this was alright, I guess. Big Show was wearing a whole huge cast on his hand because Triple H broke it, and he was going to use it as a weapon. The match. Yeah, and Big Show was trying to use the cast as a weapon a lot in the match, but, yeah. 
Triple H was able to dodge it. At one point, Big Show hit the ring post with the cast, and it, obviously it did hurt. And then eventually, Triple H just ripped the cast off of Big Show's hand. Yeah, you know, Triple H was trying to use some weapons in the match. Yeah. At one point, the referee got knocked out when Big Show accidentally nailed him when Triple H ducked from a punch. Yeah, Triple H was trying to use some weapons. He tried to use a sledgehammer, but Big Show just broke it in half. And Big Show, he tried to use some stuff at one point, but he couldn't because his he had his broken hand. It wasn't strong enough. And then Triple H nailed Big Show's broken hand with a chair. And at the end of this match, Big Show tried to do a choke slam on Triple H, but Triple H nailed the Big Show with the broken sledgehammer and got a pedigree on Big Show for the win. Yeah, that was another one. All right. Uh, I give it two stars. And then we got Shelton Benjamin versus Viscera, just kind of a filler match. This match was this match sucked. Shelton Benjamin's mama was so damn annoying. Gosh, really? Whoever thought of Shelton Benjamin's mama being his manager for this point in in WWE? They really should be ashamed. God, Shelton Benjamin's mom was so annoying. Yeah, at the end, Shelton Benjamin won after Shelton Benjamin's mama nailed Viscera with her purse, and Shelton Benjamin got a swing and kick or something on Viscera and got the pin. So yeah, one star. Then we got the bra and panties gauntlet match: Maria versus Candice Michelle versus Tori Wilson versus Victoria versus Ashley. Yeah, aside from the May Young part, I'm not gonna complain here. Seeing them in their underwear. Who's going to complain here? Yeah, just that uh, Mae Young, just awful, awful, awful. Yeah, if you if you haven't seen how I was reacting to Mae Young stripping, I'll put a link in the description box to the video that I show you guys what I thought of it. And if you want to see it. Alright. So, yeah. Nothing to complain about here. Really, yeah. Just them getting in their underwear and actually won at the end. Yeah, I'm not going to rate this thing, though. Yeah, there's no ratings necessary for this. So, yeah, let's just move on. Then we got the main event, the Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship. John Cena defending against Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, Kane, Carlito, and Chris Masters. Yeah, I talked about this before when I ranked Elimination Chamber matches this past summer. Yeah. This wasn't very good. One of the weak. Elimination Chamber matches. Started out with John Cena and Shawn Michaels. They were went at it and yeah, they then went to the outside of the ring onto the chamber floor. And they were throwing each other into the chain wall. And yeah, then Carlito was the next one to enter. He came in, started dominating. Eating, and then John Cena and Shawn Michaels started double teaming him. And then Kurt Angle came in. He was on fire, was giving suplexes to everyone. Then, and yeah, Carlito tried to do the backstabber on Kurt Angle, but yeah, he, he couldn't do it. And Kurt Angle got an ankle lock on Carlito. And then Chris Masters came in, saved him. Saved him, and then, yeah, Kurt Angle then got an ankle lock on. Chris Masters, and then he eventually got a an ankle lock on Shawn, sorry, John Cena, and then Shawn Michaels gave Kurt Angle sweet chin music, and that eliminated Kurt Angle. And then Kane was the last one to enter. But when they, after the buzzer for Kane to come in, you know, how usually when there's the last entrant for the elimination chamber to come in, they just let him out right away. They didn't do that here. They just did, still did the thing where. The arena gets dark and they show the light around the pods. Yeah, so why did they do that, really? I mean, we knew who was coming out next. Yeah. Yeah, and then Kane was starting to dominate. He was choke, he choke slammed Shawn Michaels and he choke slammed John Cena. And I noticed what when Kane choke slammed John Cena, John, Mike, John Cena went up kind of high and yeah, Kane's hand came off of John Cena's throat. 
Yeah, and then Carlito and Chris Masters were trying to double team Kane. And Kane was able to fight off the Master Lock from Chris Masters. Carlito then got a backstabber on Kane. And yeah, Kane just went sit down, he kept sitting up, and then it took both Chris Masters and Carlito together to lay on top of Kane and eliminate him for the by pinning him. Yeah, and then Carlito and Chris Masters formed an alliance. They were double teaming on John Cena and Shawn Michaels. They eventually did eliminate Shawn Michaels. And then they were just focusing on John Cena. They DDT John Cena onto the chamber floor and threw him into the chain wall. John Cena got busted open. And Chris Masters tried to do the master lock on John Cena. He got locked in, but then Carlito double crossed Chris Masters, gave him a low blow, and rolled him up for a pin to eliminate him. Then right after that, John Cena got a roll up on Carlito and won. So John Cena won the Elimination Chamber match. I give it. Mm, I give it. I don't know. Two and a quarter, two and a half, something like that. And but wait, wait. And then yeah, Vince McMahon came out, was congratulating John Cena, whatever. Said there was one more match happening, and Edge was cashing in Money in the Bank. So yeah, Edge then did cash in Money in the Bank. Came to the ring. He was assaulting John Cena for about a minute. Took gave John Cena a couple spears. John Cena survived them, and then Edge got another spear on John Cena, and Edge won the title by pinning John Cena. So yeah, this was the first time this happened with Money in the Bank winner coming in, and cashing in like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously you can't rate the match because it only lasted about a minute. Yeah, so yeah, whatever. Overall show, I give it about hmm, uh, 3.5. Yeah. Nothing really too good on the show, but the ending of the show is memorable. Yeah. And you may notice also that all these matches are under 3 stars. Yeah. So yeah. Not a good show, but a memorable ending. Yeah, alright, so that's it for my New Year's Revolution 2006 review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.